not good. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things, there are a lot of adhyayas in it which says, you know, man should not be too attached to a woman, should not care too much for the family. You know, Narak me chala jala. A lot of such things <laughs> return in that book. Really? Why was it for <coughs> But why should we follow certain things? Why a Brahmin? I mean, what is a Brahmin? It's not specified. But a Shudra hai by Janam to is a Shudra. He should do these things. So, you know, how much, I mean, in the, in the current scenario, how much of this? Actually holds water because it's very good. I have given up reading it for the last few months. That's the most sensible that. thing you've done. <laughs> <laughs> that is really it's sensible. It's a hundred year old book. And people are like, you've got to read it because somebody told me some upaya is called Pado to Tiko Jai. But then I cannot bring myself to take that book and open up the book. I don't think there's any book in the world that you read and. Uh, everything goes fine. No, I, I don't think such a book is in, written or invented. See, these <coughs> these books, uh, there are many of them, and uh, some of them, uh, I mean, they're not untrue, they're, they, they, they tell you the truth. But the time in which it was written, the era in which it was written, the context in which it was written, and the various interpretations that have come after the original writer has written it. I think that makes a lot of difference. <coughs> now, blindly reading these books is obviously going to distress you. Like it did. Then you found that, you know, man shouldn't take a woman otherwise he'll go into hell. <laughs> and everyone's married, so we all go to hell. Fine. <laughs> But uh, these, 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 are, these are things that are taken out of context sometimes. And in what relation they are said or uh, how they are interpreted. Now, what the original writer may have written in what context, we don't know. So yes, uh, 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 people do treat these kind of books as, you know, the, the ultimate word and uh, um, sort of indisputable, but no, I don't think any book in the world is indisputable. Your reality is what matters. How you progress and evolve is what matters. This is somebody else's thoughts. That's what I always say about books. It's not yours. It is somebody else's thoughts. Yes, I'm not saying stop reading books. But how much you are going to be influenced by that depends on you. How much of those books really mean anything to you? So unless they add to your evolution and they make you a better human being and they help you to well, get rid of your, uh, uh, what do I say, uh, uh, negativity. I think they are better avoided. If they only add to your confusion, then they do no service. Such books should be kept aside, no matter how big a name it is and how big a person was written it. It's not meant for you. Why are you messing yourself up with it? Isn't it? I mean, do the things that give you relief. It's your life. That's why I say read only to uh, a kind of, you know, make yourself aware. Don't dive into the book and, and make it like your life. It may not suit you. It may not be the right thing to do. So as long as you get certain awareness from the book is fine. Rest is all up to you. How you live your life, the way you do it. What you feel, what you think, that matters. Not for written in the book. So such, and uh, uh, basically books which are written many thousands of years back, they were written for a different era at a different time. 
and they have been, you know, sort of interpreted several times by several authors. So whether you're getting the right essence of what the original author has written or not is, is, is again questioned, extremely questioned. So you better ease off on that. Better you do your meditation, do your japa, and follow your spiritual practice. That is why uh, this time around I have not, you know, sort of, I, I don't keep telling you, okay, read these books, read these books, go and attend this uh, 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 course in so and so philosophy. It's really a waste of time. What, what matters is the sadhana that you do. If you really want to progress, if you really want to change yourself, if you really want to come out of your suffering, your sadhana is the only thing that you do. No books are going to rescue you. Sorry. It's not. There is no such book that is a, you know, a, a instant magic that will relieve you of all your pain and suffering or remove all your... <coughs> doubts and, and fill you with the light of wisdom. No such a book doesn't exist. The wisdom has to sprout from within. It has to come from within. Who can only trigger it off. Otherwise you're mouthing, you're just a parrot. You're mouthing what somebody else has said. Many times, uh, people read certain books, if they have some problem with a lot of faith, like yeah. Guru Charita, Sai Lila, yeah. uh, or the many such books, yeah. or Das Bodh, yeah. uh, they do parents. Uh, huh. How does that... Uh, no, that is to develop faith. That is different. Here is the intellectual uh, 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 analysis of the book. No, that when you read things like Sai Charitra or, or maybe any kind of uh, uh, very motivational or inspirational stories about saints and sages, that is to develop your faith and your love. What is the difference between bhakti and faith? Bhakti and faith? Well, bhakti is devotion and faith is shraddha. And there is a difference. Of course there is a difference. I mean, they are not the same. Though, at some point they will converge. There will be a convergence of bhakti and uh, uh, shraddha, but uh, yeah, essentially they are different. 